Now, your 13 first alert weather forecast. Welcome back. The month of October is now officially in the rear view mirror. So here's a look at how we turned out on the month. Our highest temperature ended up being on the 21st at 83 degrees. That's actually the second latest in October that we reached the 80s. The latest date was October 30th for that 80 degree mark. As for the lowest temperature on the morning of the 16th at 27 degrees, you'll see our departure when it comes to the average temperature. Yes, we were nearly six degrees above normal and we did make up uh, some of that precipitation deficit here in the last 24 hours but we end up still falling short by about 1.17 inches and of course no snow so we also had a deficit there now as we look ahead to november as you would suspect we're approaching the winter months so that means those average highs and lows continue to drop and quite a dip there as well 35 and 18 respectively by the 30th and i also want to remind you that Saturday night, you'll need to fall back one hour when it comes to those clocks. Daylight saving time officially ends. Therefore, we're going to have sunsets before 5 o'clock. Now, while our average precipitation comes down, yes, the average snowfall does start to come up to around 4.7 inches. As we look at those temperatures this afternoon, all locations are in the 40s. We're at 44 from Rice Lake to Chatech, 43 now in Lady Smith across the Chippewa Valley. A lot of locations in the mid 40s, 48 even in Augusta and down across our southern counties. Those temperatures largely hanging out in the upper 40s. Well, let's take a look at your weekend weather. If you're planning anything outside, I would say tomorrow's going to be the day to do so. We are going to have mild weather out there, a high temperature of 57 degrees. But by Sunday, there's going to be a warm front lifting from the south that is going to bring periods of showers throughout the day. As it looks right now, we're probably going to be on the northern edges in the Chippewa Valley. I think we're going to have steadier rainfall in our southern counties, but that is subject to change here. So keep it uh, to keep it here with the latest. We'll also has, have some breezy winds, and those temperatures are going to be turning mu much more seasonable at around that 50 degree mark. Now, as we look at satellite and radar, there is an area of low pressure hanging out over South Dakota, but this is going to dissolve as it makes eastward progress. So really. Not too much of a concern for us here locally. Meanwhile, north, we do have an area of high pressure. That, too, is going to be sliding away, keeping us within that southerly flow as we move through tonight. Those skies are going to be partly cloudy. Any showers that try to approach the area are going to dissipate as we do have some drier air now in place for the day tomorrow. Do expect intervals of sun and clouds out there. It will be a quiet start to the weekend. And then watch what happens tomorrow night. That cloud cover really starts to increase and thicken up. And I do think by the overnight hours, our southern area is already getting into some of that rain. This model, I think, portraying it quite well. You can see the Chippewa Valley on the northern edges. We're going to have that steadier rainfall, which could be heavy at times across our southern counties. This is going to take us through the day on Sunday with more rain as we start off the new work week. So for tonight, we're down to a low temperature of 34 degrees. Meanwhile, as we do start off the week ahead, we're briefly up to around 64. Those rain chances going to continue, and it will stay that way right through Election Day. But those temperatures do turn seasonable yet again, and we do dry out later next week as well. Yeah, temperature is really not that bad. Really uh, no, that it bad. seems we're finally getting off of that roller coaster right. ride that we've been on for the past month and a half, basically. It could be colder. It could. <laughs> All right, thanks, Derek. Mm -hmm. We've got a look at what's happening.